about to go to the Green Fair Healthy Cooking for the Holidays cooking class. I'm so excited. I was just there on Monday and it's Wednesday now, so clearly I like the place a little bit. But I'm taking my dad and you have two free tickets, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I mean, what's better than cooking a delicious food and then eating it? So I will see you guys there. Bye. This is where we're going. And we will be making blanched kale and tahini dressing, cauliflower millet mash, shiitake mushrooms gravy, whole cranberry stuffed acorn squash, roasted sweet potato, carrot, and ginger soup, and spiced baked apple. Woo! This is the first cooking class, so it's my honor to be able to cook it, kick it off and cook it off. And I'm Monica Hardy, and I'm a macrobiotic chef, and I don't know if you guys read the invitation blur, but essentially, let me get this ready to go. My background in, my culinary background is in macrobiotics, and basically I'm following a plant-based macrobiotic cooking class tonight. Plus, that's kind of how I live my life. That with what Green Fair is doing. So, all organic foods, all whole foods, and plant-based cuisine. So, I'm going to show you tonight just how easy it is to prepare all these dishes. Hopefully, you think they're delicious. And these should be easy, fun inspiration for how you can either add to your holiday cooking or make it 100% plant-based. So, if you just want to be able to add more plant-based <laughs> dishes into your diet, and you're kind of scared about kale, this is a good class. A full piece of kale, and just slice off the leafy, leafy greens, and use the stem. So a lot of what's happening in our day-to-day -day food is we're not using the whole plant, gets discarded, a lot of waste, unless you have a compost pile that's really kicking, then that gets wasted, but honestly, this is the best part, and most people miss out on this. So you could eat your greens, a lot of people do salads. I really like doing cooked kale in the winter time because I love fresh salads. I'm sure you guys eat a lot of fresh salads. A lot of people, that's all they eat in terms of veggies. But I like in the winter time to actually have cooked food and things that are a little heartier and warm. So this is a great way to have a salad and get those leafy greens and it's nice and warm and nourishing. And another fantastic resource around here are all the organic farms. So definitely a big proponent. Green Fair definitely supports all the organic farms in the area and that's where all the produce is sourced from. So 100% organic and supporting local farms is great. So with the tahini, tahini is nice. It's good quality fats. You're gonna, it's made from sesame seeds. Have you guys had tahini before? Oh yeah. Awesome, do you like it? Yeah. Awesome, okay good. So I just, Again, you can kind of just make it how you like it. So, tablespoon tahini, a little bit of water. So I use a little bit of water just to and mix it in, and it just sort of dilutes the tahini to make it more of a dressing. So, again, whole organic cranberries. Put them right in the pot. Your water in the pot, or your dry? The the little water is just from. So um, we're going to use apple juice. Gosh, yay! And again, eating local, eating whole foods, and eating in season. So you guys are seeing this a lot right now in the stores. It's, um, this one's really fun because we're doing run recipe tonight, stuffing it with cranberry. But if you're like, mm, I really like savory stuffing, I want to do wild rice, go for it. It tastes really good. We'll carve out the seeds. And it's that simple. Again, you could be really creative with this. Lots of lots of cool things to put in there. The cool thing about doing this is if for some reason you might be avoiding nightshades, which potatoes are. You guys know what nightshades are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people avoid them just from inflammation standpoint, but 
they're they're great if you're not having to deal with that. So, but Wait, what is a nightshade? Nightshade is actually a plant that flowers at night. So you've got eggplant, oh, okay. white potato, peppers are in the nightshade family, yeah. and they and tomatoes. Yep, tomato is very popular. So basically anything Tex-Mex, nightshade. Oh, okay. But it can create inflammation. Like if people, like if you're dealing with arthritis or any other kind of inflammatory stuff, you might actually try to avoid them or maybe not eat them at every meal. Got it. That being said, lots of nutrient density and all those vegetables I just mentioned. So again, kind of listen to your body. I think it's going to be your best teacher. With um, grains in general, there's like a little bit of, sometimes they have a little casing on the outside, like the saponin layer on quinoa, for instance. But anyway, gently rinse and massage. It's going to take away some of the bitter flavor if you're cleaning it. What I love about cauliflower is um, that's basically going to give you that creamy consistency. If you guys want to make this totally ridiculously decadent, is you can go ahead and add your decadent. You can add olive oil and vegan butter if you do really love garlic. Tons of garlic. <laughs> so, but you can see already how it, it makes a nice mash. But for you, you're probably going to want, you could add a little coconut milk too or almonds. So, These are our ingredients for this. Again, very simple. Chop shiitake. Have you guys cooked with shiitakes before? I love shiitake. But this could go with any kind of mushroom recipe. Portobello. Portobello is so nice. It has such a great rich yeah, flavor. Great for grill. So this, you would start with your onions. We're actually just going to go straight to having everything already cooked. But sauteing onions, I mean, it's so fast, you see? The um, cutting, slicing your onions in half moons. And then just sauteing until they're translucent. And you can just saute in water if you're trying to avoid oil. Or saute in your favorite. You can saute in water. So it's just a little bit of water in the bottom, full caramel color. You also with the water, and you saute it all together. So we have officially sauteed our mushrooms. Mm, smells so good. That smells great. <laughs> yeah. That is kudzu. You know, like our our the vine that grows on the, the, the road, crazy invasive vine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But this is this is actually has really nice properties for the digestion. But actually, it's used in a lot of Japanese cooking. So macrobiotics, the Western part of macrobiotics, has a lot of roots in Japanese cooking. And so this is used a lot as a thickener. And so it's a really nice, healthy thickener. The agar agar is a vegan gelatin, basically. You can think of it that way. That is it. You have your shiitake gravy. It really needs more lemon, or it needs more salt, or, you know, go for it. Be creative. These are just kind of like a good foundation to build on. Hello. So, the next recipe is a baked spicy apple. It's pretty simple. So, my name is Pericles. I am the uh, coordinator here for Green Fair. I'm not a chef, I'm a nutritionist, but I uh, build the menu here. And my background is in sports and nutrition. And this is perfect for athletes or to uh, eliminate cravings, to have a cravings during the night. A lot of people come in to ask my help to lose weight. They tell me, okay, I eat very well until 10, after 10 p.m. I start to crave ch chocolate, sugar. This is a good alternative. And this extract, this is in the recipe card you're gonna receive by email. What you don't have there is the gloves. And I add, add extra cinnamon there. Just score the apple. I'm not gonna be through in, in the end. Just like a half. Take out again. And then got one more here. Yes. I'm gonna mix the uh, walnuts. I use the half recipe sticker, brown sugar, 
the flour and the cinnamon, everything together. I'm gonna chop the apples. We have seven apples in the recipe. Two, you're gonna do this. The other five, we're gonna chop. And you're gonna mix with all the spices, except the anise, except the cinnamon stick. Chop the when I turn it. You're gonna add the top. And you use a you're gonna use a pan. Almost the size of the apple. You're gonna cover, not over this line with water. You're gonna add a cinnamon side stick and you're gonna drop the ends in the water. How much? So somebody asked me a couple weeks ago when I wanted to open a restaurant. When, did, when was my dream for a restaurant? And I said, well, March, since March this year. Right. And it was after I worked with uh, Nelson Campbell and Colin Campbell. T. Colin Campbell came down and we did a 10-day uh, transition program. Right. And in 10 days, people changed their diet and they lost weight. They went off medication. And across the board, their cholesterol dropped by about 20%. Okay. And so it was so amazing to see people go from one way of eating to feeling like they could go off medication and it just it was life changing. Right. And so I thought, how do we um, enable this to a broader audience? And it's got to be through providing great food and education. And so what we wanted to do in this uh, restaurant is have a, I call it a salon cafe. Yeah. A salon with the focus on discussion and education, yeah, I love so that. books, and then fantastic food that's delivering organic, uh, certified by USDA, um, whole plant food, so we cook everything ourselves, it's on the table, so it's brought in from uh, Tuscarora and Lancaster Farms. Uh, we chop everything in the back, so it's live food that's prepared daily, mm -hmm. and we serve it without oil and no added salt in the back. So things that a lot of restaurants do that people don't even know about. Um, we're serving basically clean food to promote health and um, discernible taste difference. So the food is fantastic. Uh, people have been raving about the food and it's they, they come back and they bring their friends. So it's been, we haven't done any marketing. You know, it's just been word of mouth right now. It's been very exciting. finished our cooking class and we are now on the way home and dad what did you get after the cooking class because then we got ten dollars off um, entrees vegetables you got the roasted vegetable bowl and I got the it had a lot of spice on it it was really really good yes I, I tried was, some uh, of pleasantly his pleasantly pleased and I got the southwestern chipotle bowl and I tried some of his he tried some of mine both were excellent mine was better than hers we did prefer his over mine, but anyways, both were good, and we both love Green Fair, and we're very happy that we went there tonight. So I am now back from the cooking class at Green Fair, and it was so awesome. Oh my gosh. Um, just all the people I met. It was just so great to be surrounded by like-minded people, and you know, people that have the same common goals. Um, you know, just really enrich their lives with, you know, super nutrient dense plant foods and you just make for a better world ultimately. So yeah, it was awesome and all the food was delicious. And I'm really glad my dad was able to come with me and experience it too. So that is all for today. And I will see you guys next video. Ciao!